what is up everybody it's gorilla man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video i just finished completing the dodge challenger that we've been working on for so 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 long so i what i did was i went in and i put together the transmission and the the rest of the, like the engine bay which is pretty much nothing actually um uh but here we go Interior is in. I got challenger seats, challenger rear seat, and then I have a uh, charger steering wheel since they don't have a challenger steering wheel. But we're going to hop in it. This will be the very first time I have started it, so you guys will be able to hear it too. So here we go. Let's see how it goes. Oh, look at that. She kicks right over and starts purring. I wonder if I get out, it'll stay. Oh, if I want to get out, it doesn't stay running. Dang it. All right, but anyways, here it is. I thought I'd show you guys this. I'll show you the car status. Um, car value is at seventy-one thousand dollars after our restoration. I think we bought it when it was at around. It was either twenty-one or twelve. I don't remember what the price was. Um, probably twelve because that's what the engine values at. But the engine alone, when I added it back into the car, it improved uh, the price of the car by about thirty thousand dollars. As you can see here, everything's one hundred percent, minus these piston rings because for some reason they got question marks next to them. But it says it makes three hundred ninety horsepower. Yeah, just 390 horsepower, and we can't, uh, I figured out we can't dyno it yet, they don't have the dyno in the game, which really sucks, but it's okay, because we're not going to be selling this car, we're going to be keeping it, we're going to be holding on to it, the dyno is right here, it's just not accessible yet, um, I'm sure it'll be ready soon, since they pretty much got everything up for it, but anyways, what we're going to do then, in the meantime, is we're going to take this bad boy on a test drive, I've never went never done any test drives or anything oh my gosh that is a lot of barn finds holy crap well I did not realize the amount of stuff that we had to go do well let's go take this to a test track first we're gonna take our challenger to the test track no oil and oh my gosh I started the car without oil Holy crap. Good thing it only ran for like a second. Alright, let's add some premium motor oil. Wait for it to kick back over, then we'll know it's done. There we go. Alright, now let's try this again. Let's go back to the test track. And I click the junkyard. I'm kind of curious, too. Oh, she is loud. Oh. Oh, don't wanna, don't wanna hurt it. Oh, it's gonna take some getting used to. Oh, look at that. Oh man, the driving in this game is a little funky, but you know what? We can do it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh no. Oh my gosh. We just flipped it. We he just flipped the challenger. Okay, 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 okay. We can get this. We can get this. Oh man, I'm so lucky that like crashing it in a test track doesn't actually do any damage. Look, it's pretty good brakes. Look at that. So that was just the test path. Um, or not test path, the road test. We finally got an achievement for the road test. Thought we've done that before. Um, now we're gonna go over to the race track. Yep, I right, I pretty much already knew everything was at 100%. Um, race track. All right, so this is gonna be the big one. Hopefully the car is not nearly as squirrely and like back end loose as it just was, but this is like an actual racetrack, so let's just hop into it. Okay. Oh, look at that. Did it in? Did it in? Let's get going. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. here we go. All right, we're gonna see if we can, what I can, our best lap can be. Eight checkpoints. I've never drove this before. This thing is so fast. Holy crap! Okay, okay, I'm gonna lay off the throttle a little bit. Now this car is a lot faster than I was anticipating. Going 100 kilometers around the corner. Oh, yeah. If you hit too hard on the gas, you just spin, you spin way out. Oh, and he crashed like that. Alright, we 
hit the first checkpoint yet? Oh yeah, we're on checkpoint four, okay. Alright, let's see how fast we can get this lap to be. Oh, yep, this game is definitely not designed to do too much driving in. It's cool though that you can actually take this out on like a test track. Oh, it'll be even better once you get mods and stuff. Or not mods, uh, like, like superchargers and stuff to see how much of a difference it actually makes. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, finish the first lap. Come on. All right, now I'm on lap two. We're gonna see if we can do better on lap two here. And we are already not doing better. There we go, I didn't spin out at least. Okay, so it's all about getting used to the car, I feel like. Although this thing is crazy loud. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna tap the gas. If you, if you floor the gas and you turn at the same time, you drift out every single time. So you're probably gonna hear a lot of tapping the keys. Come on. There we go. Nice smooth ride through everything. Still going about 90 kilometers. Okay, let's ramp it up. Come on. All right, see so we can hit 190. 214 is what we tapped out at. All right, we're gonna end this. Okay, how do we go back? Let's go back to garage. Dang. Whew, that was a lot of, a lot more hectic than I was planning on it being. Like, dang. We got achievement though, we got racer achievement. Ooh, okay, well, this is a success in my book. I think this thing is pretty dang awesome. I mean, it's got $71,000 is the value of it. Um, I think the restoration bonus is added in. We're not gonna sell this yet, we're gonna hold on to it um, for quite a while, actually. So let's take it to the parking. But, so we got the Dodge Charger to work on, but the next one, I think we're gonna work on let me go to the parking. I'm gonna pull something out of parking really quick. This is the next one right here. The Smith 1500. It's an I6 overhead valve. It's a weird little, it's like, it's like a super old timey farm truck is what it looks like. But this is, this is what we're gonna work on for our next one. Yeah, see that's barn find. This is junkyard, junkyard. They definitely don't, they definitely look junkyard, but look at that, perfect. It looks amazing. All right. But well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this guy here. Yeah, car status. There we go. It's really, really bad condition, but we're gonna move it back to the garage. It was worth six thousand dollars. I think it was like five thousand when we bought it. Um, so it's made some value on it. What's this? Okay. What's the value of this one? Five thousand. All right. This is our old timey Mustang, and this is our old Corvette. Oh, we still we do want to get that guy going. That's paint and mismatch and whatnot. Definitely going to be a good cherry red for that one. Let's go back to our garage. I think we're going to get started on the Smith 1500 in this video, actually. We're going to get breaking into it. Uh, probably just, like, clean clean it up, make it look nicer. Because it's, like, 100% rust right now. Like, you take one body part off, the whole, the, whole, the whole thing falls apart. This is awful. I'm surprised that this even works. All right, let's pull this sucker apart. Can you even pull apart like the tailgate or anything? All right, pull off the bumper. Oh, okay, door. They got the rear windows. Nothing on the interior does not surprise me at all. Front window, wow, look at that. Headlights. Take off the bumpers or anything? No bumper on there? I don't know, I don't know. All right, we're gonna move this over to number, does this even start? Uh, it doesn't look like this will start at all. There's nothing even to sit in to start anyways. Oh, well. Let's move this over to part B. Lifter B, there it is. Lifter 2. All right, then we're going to move over our welder. And we're going to get welded on this bad boy. So, I'm just going to take a quick before and after pic. So, let me just see, I'll post up right here. So, you see how this looks? Let's hit the welder up. 
thousand bucks. All right, ready and there you go. There's your before and after. Look at that. That looks absolutely crazy. Oh wow, this thing's black. You can't even tell this thing is black unless you look at like unless you go to this and you look at the colors. Before you couldn't tell that was black. All right, now let's move this to paint shop. We're gonna get her painted and looking nice and mighty fine. Let me run up here and repair these body parts real quick. I just realized I'm gonna want to paint the. I'm gonna want to put the body parts together before I paint it, cause otherwise it'll be a mismatch. All right. I know we found a hood. No fender. We just repaired the door. No window. Got a mirror. Okay, so we're gonna need all new windows, fenders. See, the thing is, I'm going through all of this because I know we picked up. Oh, I see crap. Look at that. I didn't know that. Or you learn. Um, come on. See, so yeah, we picked up a bunch of stuff from the junkyard, so I don't know exactly what we have and what we don't have. And this one's still missing. No, get that door off of there. Oh, hey, look, this one has a right side mirror. Uh, pull this off. All right, so basically, we're gonna need to get everything for it. Let's go to body shop. And we're just gonna do type in fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred to give us what we want. We want the right door. We want both fenders. We want these. Gonna want that. Want that. Want that. Want that. Dang, pretty much everything. We're gonna need to go do a few more jobs before the end of this. We'll be running low on money. Yeah, see how like everything's mismatched? Yeah. It's a good thing I'm doing this. I think I might do this car a matte though, a matte color. I think a matte would look really nice. Uh, we'll wait to throw on the license plate. go to get the rear one on yet nope and these things got curved glass it is weird uh, front lights oh we forgot the bumper okay I knew we were gonna forget something I always do it's got the mirror then front bumper uh, rear oh yeah that was the very first thing look at that all right, get this put on. Then we'll be sticking to the same kind of wheels it's got, but we just gotta take them off, redo them. So it's looking nice right now, minus the wheels and everything else in the car. <laughs> I mean, yeah, engine's looking awful. It kind of sucks that you can't repaint the engine. That'd be really cool. All right, let's paint this. So, paint type, we're gonna go a matte. Um, what kind of livery do we got? Got stripes. It's got dark stripes. Oh, it's got. Okay, I like that one a lot. It's a factory, current. Okay, no. We're going to change this. We're going to go. Move the hue. Keep the hue. Or the saturation right in the middle so we can find all the different colors. Um. Back it up a little. Is it way over here? Oh yeah, it's all on the other side of the color gray. That's what I'm looking for. So I think we're gonna go with this an orange. But not too bad. 96. That's a lot of saturation. All right, so we're gonna go with this an orange and gray theme. Mainly because I don't know how to change the other color. I don't think we can. All right, the painting is done. Oh, this thing, this looks really good. Let me guys know what you think. I think this looks fantastic. Oh, I really like this, yeah. We'll move this over to 
B. Our door, get our interior, interior detailing kit. Move that over to B. It's weird because this detailing kit before went into like the wall right here. Yeah, see, it goes in the wall a little bit. I was like, what the heck? All right, we'll use this. Make uh, the inside of our smith look nice. Now we'll get the interior done. Usually I do this the opposite. I do all this stuff last so I can get the satisfaction of like completing the entire thing. But we're going to do this in reverse because I want to see how the smith looks with all new interior and exterior. Really? All right, well, let's just go through and find everything then. Since we can't really, since there is no sea for what the heck? That is weird. All right, well, we're gonna go like old as we can. Um, these are all certain steering wheels. These are the steering wheels we want right here. Let's go with nice wood grain finish. This one. Let's go with this one. And then for seat. Let's see, we're gonna go and go with an older style looking seat. So none of these. Probably one of these. Um let's go with Um, let's just do this one right here. Plain black leather. I'm fine with that. Interior assemble. Yep, there we go. There we are. Look at that. It's looking crazy nice right now. That is looking really, really, really nice. Oh, this might be one of my favorite cars, actually. Let's move this over to the, uh, the lifter. Oh, this looks really good. Okay, I think we're going to pull off the tires and we're going to get them going. I don't think we're going to finish them, though. We're just going to get them off. Yeah, and the engine of this car is painted blue. I don't know if I'm pretty sure I said it before. It's painted like, uh, it's like powder-coated pay, uh, baby, baby blue. Pull these off in a somewhat star pattern. We don't really need to because we're taking them off, but... Yeah, it's a lot of rust on these. And then I think we're going to see if we can do chrome wheels. I think I'm going to try and do chrome. Um, I don't know if we can. I'm going to do the white wall, though. I'm going to get the vintage white wall tires. Let's go over here. I'll purchase the tires, and then that'll be it. Separate. We got a lot of things to separate. Oh, my gosh. All right, so for rims... Gotta go, let's see what kind of rims this thing has on it right now. It's got basic rim, basic one. Man, it's basic. Come on. Where's classic? Rim basic two. The Bowen, Atlanta. The basics fit it good, don't get me wrong, but I like the Bowen. The Bowen looks good. A lot of these other ones get way, way more expensive. That looks pretty close to the original. That looks good too. I think we're just going to go with the Bowen. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the Bowen. Because I want something that's chrome. Four, and we're going to do... We're going to do 19s. All right, and then I'm going to go over here to tires. Oh, wow, we are running low on tires, or money. <laughs> oh, dang. We're going to go with these ones. Four. Nineteens. We're going to leave them the width and profile that they are. We're going to take, and then we're going we're gonna to put these ones together. Put the bow in. Yeah, so we got vintage tires with vintage-esque um, rims. How do those look? I think I like it. Yeah, I'll get this next one. Oh crap, we need to balance it. 
Let's balance it. We just need to pull apart all of our other tires in here. I just need to go through and redo all of them. All right, so since this one's balanced, we're going to go toss it on the car and see how it looks. And then once we do that, i uh, probably just going to call it. Man, come on. Hurry up. This thing takes forever. They even shortened the length of this because it took way too long and they knew it. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'll balance one more while we're just chilling here. All right. This orange is really growing on me. Man, that because I'm also gonna have to do orange for the uh, charger because I gotta do Duke's Hazard style. Yeah, I really like these. Ooh, I'm digging it. Like, guys, let me know. Do you guys, you guys dig it? You like it? I really like this so far. I think this looks really good. I think this is gonna be probably this. I don't want to say this build's gonna be better than the Challenger, but this build's looking nice so far. This is looking like a clean build. Oh, it looks so good. All right, guys. I'm going to leave you with that. Next episode, we're going to complete this. Though. We're going to do suspension and engine all in one video. We're going to complete the entire car, and then we'll get a few shots of it. It looks it looks pretty good so far. I really dig it. It's looking, it's looking good. It's looking really good. But anyways, thank you, guys. Thank you for watching so far. If everybody stayed tuned. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber helps me out, and I really, really appreciate it. We just passed 26,000, so that is pretty freaking crazy. So thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video.